What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. I got a comment on my video the other day and it said Grandmaster armor and weapon repair kits doesn't hurt the durability. And honestly, I'm not surprised that this is still going around and this is still out there because the system that is put in place is very confusing. So, I'm going to show you what's going on when you are repairing your items, both on the bench that the items are crafted on, and if you use a Grandmaster Repair Kit. So, let's start with weapons. The first weapon that I have here is the Control Weapon. This weapon has not been used, and you can see the durability is 900. I then have some weapons that I have used to varying degrees. And I'm going to show you what happens to the weapon when you repair with the Grandmaster Weapon Repair Kit, and when you repair it with just the resources. Now, you'll notice I don't have a Thrall on here. You don't have to have a Thrall on the bench for this to work the same way. We know that the durability should be 900. Now, this particular katana has been used down to 693 durability. We're going to go ahead and slap this guy on there so that it repairs. And you can see that that has repaired to 877 and a half durability. That is a loss of durability. Now, here's where people get confused. If we pull this down to our hotbar, you can see that durability bar is full. The durability bar here is full. So if you're not actually paying attention to how much durability your weapon has when it's crafted, you're not going to know that you're losing durability. Now you can see that this one has 880 durability. When we go to repair this one, it's actually not going to let us do it because it's above the durability that it would allow this to repair to. So until I get down below 877 and a half durability, the Grandmaster Weapon Repair Kit isn't even going to work. So we're going to leave that one aside for now and we'll go over to this one. You can see it only has 609 durability. I'm going to take this out of here and I'm just going to select it and click repair. You can see that it is repairing and it's going to go all the way up to 900 durability as if we just crafted it. So you do not want to be using the Grandmaster weapon repair kits on your weapons unless you're in a pinch because every time you do, you are going to lose durability. Okay, so I took this katana out and did a little bit more damage to it. You can see it has only 877 durability. So if I put this on there, it's actually only going to repair 0.5 durability because there is a reduction every time you use a weapon repair kit. And the Grandmaster Weapon Repair Kit is going to take the least amount of durability from your weapon. However, it's still taking away the total durability that that weapon could have. So going forward, only repair your items on the bench that you can craft them on with the resources that you're crafting them with. I upload videos like this on my channel all the time. So if you want to stay informed on what's going on in Conan Exiles, I'd recommend hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you get notified when I upload another video. It works the same way with the armor. So if we take a look at the control groups, we have 360 durability on the chest piece. If we look at this one, it's down to 322, and this one is down to 297. So we're looking for 360 durability. Let's start with this one. And that guy goes up to 351. So we have lost nine durability there. If we go to this one and we just click repair, you can see it is repairing and it's going to reach that 360 durability. Again, the bar does not show you how much maximum durability you've lost. And that works for all of these. So this one should be 240. We'll pop that on there. This one should be 360. We'll pop that on there. And this one should be 240. We'll pop that on there. You can see this one is 234, should have been 240. This one is 341, should have been 360. This one is 234 and should have been 240. If we come down to these ones and just click repair, repair, and repair, 
we're going to see this one goes to 240, which matches. This one goes to 360, which matches. And this one goes to 240, which matches. So again, all of your items, all of your weapons, your armor, your tools need to be repaired in the bench that they were crafted on with the resources that you crafted them with. That's going to make your armor and weapons last forever. Awesome. Where if you're using the weapon repair kits or the armor repair kits, eventually you will reach a point where they're just not worth putting on. As a quick reminder for you guys, the legendary and unique items cannot be repaired with repair kits and you are unable to repair them on the bench because you don't have the knowledge to craft them. Whatever you do, absolutely stay away from the repairing grindstone. That is going to repair everything that's in your hotbar and it is going to reduce the durability on all of those items across the board. So stay away from that. Don't even place this thing. It's not worth it. If you get to the point where the durability on your legendary weapons is so low that you're afraid of using them yourself, you can give them to a thrall and they can use them for eternity. Thralls do not use durability on weapons or on armor. If you don't need to give them to a thrall, the next best thing you can do is stick them in a dismantle bench. Now, not all legendary and unique items will break down in the dismantle bench, but as you can see, I got six star metal for the heart's blood daggers using the improved dismantling bench. So that's a great way to use your old and worn down weapons. Just keep in mind, not all legendaries will break down. For the ones that don't break down, obviously you can put them up on a weapon rack. Even if they have zero durability, they are still a nice way to decorate your base. Now, this isn't the first video that I've done about durability for your armor and your weapons, but I absolutely have to make sure that the information that I'm putting out there is the best possible information so that you guys make the best possible decision in your gameplay. And when I come across comments like that, I have to make sure that I get the information out there. So if you'll do me a favor, whack the like button, share this video, get it out there so that people know that that the durability does change if you're using the weapon or the armor repair kits. And don't be shy, you guys, let me know in the comment section below, is this new information for you or did you know this already from a previous video or from your own testing? I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen, click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.